and this is how you can make a calculator command for your discord.js version 14 bot so let's go ahead and get started before i show you how to do this i'd like to say that if you would like to get the source code from my videos you can either join my youtube channel memberships or my discord subscription if you get the super god or custom bot here on youtube you will get access to that source code and if you get the custom bot here me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot over on discord you can get the god and custom bot tier if you are interested in that source code and if you get the custom tier just like on youtube me and my team will code you a custom discord bot if this is interesting to you go ahead and either join the youtube membership or go ahead and join the server in the description below and purchase a server subscription all right so over in the discord we can go over to community and we can go ahead and create calculator.js and here we're going to go ahead and define a couple things so we're going to do const we're going to get our slash command builder then we can do embed builder and we can do action row builder we can do button builder and we can do button style then we can do equals require and we're just going to get discord.js now we're going to do const and we can just do math and then we can equals require and we're going to get math.js you do have to do mpmi math.js in your terminal for this to work we come down here and do module.exports equals we can open this up we're going to do data we can say new slash command builder we can go ahead and say name and for our name we can just go ahead and say calculator we can go ahead and say a description and this is going to be use a calculator put whatever you want here but that's just what i'm going to do we can do comma we can do async executes we're going to do interaction and then we can just go ahead and open this up we're going to do const id prefix equals and we'll just do calculator then we can do const m embed equals new embed builder we can go ahead and set a color and this is going to be blue and we can go ahead and say a description here we can do tick 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 and then backslash n and we can say results will be displayed here and then we can do another backslash n and we can do the tick 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 again now we're going to go ahead and actually create some of our buttons so we can do const row equals new action row builder now we're going to come down here and we're going to add components and we can just go ahead and open this up we're going to do new button builder we can go ahead and set a label and our label is going to be a C. We can go ahead and set a custom ID, and this is going to be ID prefix, and then we can do space plus. We can open this up. We're going to do a underscore, and then we're going to do clear, and then we can go ahead and set a style. We can do button style, and that is going to be danger. We can go ahead and add a comma here. Now, we are actually going to go ahead and copy this, and we're going to put it down here. So next, we're going to do the first parenthesis, so we can just go ahead and remove that and leave that parenthesis, and we can go ahead and put that in here as well, so underscore parenthesis, and then we can go ahead and change this to primary. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this so we don't have to change as much in here we're going to do the other parenthesis and we're going to put that in here we don't have to change the button style and next we can go ahead and paste it one more time and we're going to go ahead and create a backwards arrow function just like that and we can go ahead and put this in as our backspace so now we're going to go ahead and create another row so we can actually come out of this action row and we can do const row one equals new action row builder and we can go ahead and add components and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and paste this again in here we're going to make our numbers so that's going to be one and we can do one and we're just going to do secondary we're going to go ahead and actually copy this again we can paste that down there and we're going to change this to two we'll make this two and we can go ahead and make this secondary as well then we can paste it again and this is going to be three we'll do three and we're going to go ahead and paste it one more time so right here this is going to be a forward slash so we can do forward slash and then right here we're going to do forward slash as well now we're going to go ahead and create another row so we can come down here and we're going to do const row two equals new action row builder we're going to go ahead and add our components and we can go ahead and paste it again so this is going to be four and this is going to be four and we can keep it as secondary so we're going to paste it again this is going to be five and this is going to be five and we'll paste it again and this is going to be six and we'll make this six then we can go ahead and paste it one more time and in here we're going to go ahead and make this a multiplication sign and we can go ahead and make this a multiplication sign as well now we are going to go ahead and change this to primary and one other thing i didn't do is right here we're going to change this to primary as well now we can go ahead and actually create another row we're going to go ahead and create two more of these so we can do const row three equals new action row builder we're going to go ahead and add our components we'll open this up and we can go ahead and paste it down here so now we're going to do seven and we'll make this seven we can do eight so this will be eight and this can be eight and we can come down here and we'll do nine and this is going to be nine as well and then we're going to do a minus sign so we'll paste this again and we can do our minus sign we will do a minus right here and then in here we're just going to do primary so now we're going to go ahead and create our last row so this is going to be cost row four equals new action row builder we're going to go ahead and add our components and we'll paste it in here we're going to go ahead and get a zero and this is going to be zero and then we can go ahead and paste it in here we're going to go ahead and get a period and this will be a period as well so we're going to paste this again and in here we're actually going to go ahead and get our equal sign we'll make this an equal sign we're actually just going to go ahead and change this from secondary to success we'll go ahead and do this one more time and instead of the one we're actually going to make it a plus sign we'll do the plus sign right here 
and then we can just go ahead and get success as well. So that's all we have to do for our actual buttons. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to handling this. So the first thing that we have to do is actually send our message. So we can do const msg equals await interaction dot reply, and we'll open this up. We can do embeds, and this is going to be embed, and we're gonna do our components. And for our components, we're gonna do row, then we'll do row one, row two, row three, and row four. And we can just go ahead and set mfermal to false. Now we're gonna go ahead and do let data equals, and we'll just make an empty string. Now we can do const collector equals msg.create message component collector. We can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna do filter, and this is gonna be i arrow function, and we can do i.user.id equals 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 interaction.user.id. And then we can do comma and we'll do time. And we can go ahead and make this 600,000, just like that. And we're gonna come down here and we're gonna do collector.on. We can do collect and we can do async i. And then we can just go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna do const id equals i.custom id. Then we can do const value equals id.split. Then we can do an underscore. And then right after that, we're gonna open up brackets and this is going to be a one. Then we can do let extra equals and we'll do an empty string as well. Now down here, we're gonna say if value equals 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 and we'll do an equals. Then we can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna say try and we'll open this up as well. We can do data equals math dot evaluate. Then we can go ahead and pass in our data. We can do dot two string. Now we're gonna go ahead and catch an error. So we'll do catch E. Then we can go ahead and open this up. Then we're gonna do data equals, we'll do an empty string. And then we can do extra equals and we can say an error occurred. Please click on the AC for a restart. So now we can go ahead and say else if, and we'll do value and equals 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 to clear. And then we can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna do data equals, and we'll do an empty string. Then we can do extra equals, and we'll do results will be displayed here, just like that. Then we can do else if, and this is going to be value, and we'll do equals equals equals, and we'll do backspace. We can go ahead and open this up. In here, we're gonna do data equals data dot slice, and we'll do zero comma negative one. And then we can just go ahead and say else, and we'll open this up. We're gonna go ahead and say const lc equals data, and we'll open up an array. We'll do data dot length, and then we'll do minus one. So we can do data plus equals, and we can go ahead and open this up. We can put a parentheses here. We can open that up as well. We can open this up with parentheses, and we're gonna do parse int, we'll get our value. And we can do equals equals, and we'll do value, or value equals equals equals, and we'll do a period string. And we can do ampersand ampersand, and we'll come down here, we'll do lc equals equals, parse int, lc, and we can do or, and we'll do lc equals equals equals, and we'll do a period as well. Then we're gonna come right here, and we're gonna do or, and we're gonna say data dot length, equals 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 and we'll do zero then we can do a question mark empty string and we'll do a colon we can do a empty string with a space in it and right outside of the string here we're going to do plus and we're going to say value just like that so now we're actually going to come out of this else right here and we're going to do i to update and we can open this up we're going to do embeds and we're going to say new embed builder and then we can just go ahead and set a color and this is going to be blue and then we can set a description. And in here, we can go ahead and do our backslash tick, backslash tick, backslash tick. And then we're gonna do backslash n. And we can go ahead and open this up. And we're gonna do data or extra. And then we can do backslash n, and we'll do backslash tick, backslash tick, backslash tick, just like that. Now we can go ahead and add our components. So we can do comma components. And we're gonna do row, row one. We'll do row two, row three, and row four. And we'll go ahead and set infirmal to false. So with that, we are actually done with the calculator command. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord server, we can actually go ahead and test this out. But before I do so, I would like to say that if you would like to get the tutorial bot within your Discord servers to test out the previous and upcoming video commands, the link will be in the description. So we can actually go ahead and do calculator and we can go ahead and send it. And it's gonna go ahead and give us our calculator with all of the buttons that we inputted before. So as you can see, it's gonna say results will be displayed here and it's gonna give us the buttons that we customized. Now, as you can see here, I did mess up a couple of things. There's not supposed to be a one here and this button is actually supposed to be a secondary style. To change that, obviously right here, there's a one. I don't know if you made that mistake, but I did. And the plus sign is actually supposed to be primary as well. So we can go ahead and actually try this again with our new styles and put it in. And as you can see here, now everything's fixed up. So it's all the right colors and all the right signs. So we can actually go ahead and test this out. So we're gonna do like five, five times five and we can do equals and as you can see it's going to give us our answer let me go ahead and clear it and let's say we did like three fives or two fives it doesn't really matter we can do a backspace and it's actually going to go ahead and delete them or we could just clear it all so this will work for like as many numbers as you input in here um, we can do minus like 
5.8 it doesn't really matter it can be as complicated as you want as you can see it's going to give us that answer thus you can make a calculator command for your discord.js version 14 bot if you need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and if you would like to anyways just go ahead and join it's a pretty good coding community so yeah so credit to omar for this code it was very helpful with that i'll see you guys in the next video